Hey, what's up everybody and welcome to another Perfumery Basics video. And in today's video, we're gonna take a look at uh, a few sandalwood synthetic materials. Uh, so I'll go through them all and uh, kind of just sniff every single one and give you my thoughts on each and how you can actually blend these to make this a sandalwood accord. So at the very end of this video, I'll give you just a very basic starting point to make a sandalwood accord with using these materials. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so this first material we're gonna take a look at is called Sandalore. And all these materials that we're gonna be smelling in today's video are all base notes. They're all sandalwood type materials. Um, so Sandalore to me, it's very basic. It's, it's very woody, it's very warm, and it's very soft. It is a sandalwood type aroma, but I would not use this as a standalone replacer of real sandalwood oil, but I think this is a very good starting point, but it's lacking a lot of complexity. It's just very generic, very basic. It is very smooth and it is soft. There's nothing strong about this. It's very, I'd say medium odor profile strength. It's not bad, it's a good starting point, but I wouldn't use this as a generic stand, uh, standalone sandalwood, unless you're like maybe on a restricted budget and you could only use one material. Yeah, you could probably get away with using this, but it won't be that great. Um, as far as dilution, I would just use this neat. Uh, if you're working in smaller trial batches of like say one gram or less total, uh, you can probably dilute this down to 50% to make it blend easier with your other materials. Uh, but the one thing to note about Sandalore is there is an IFRA restriction on this, and that is at 1.2% in your finished perfume fragrance. And what I mean by that, it's, uh, it's not 1.2% in just your concentrate of your uh, materials. It's 1.2% restricted in the overall finished perfume after you've diluted it and made your like EDT or EDP. So yeah, so sand, uh, Sandalore, it's not bad. It's a good starting point, a good, very basic generic sandalwood type note, but not a good replacer as uh, real sandalwood oil. So on to the next one. Okay, so this next one we're gonna take a look at is called Bactinol. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell this is stronger than sandalwood. It's, it's more creamier for sure. But I'm also picking up this very, it smells fresher. So while it is a very creamy wood material, it is fresher to me. And it has like a slightly floral rose petal type nuance to it. And I think that's what makes this very diffusive when comparing it to Sandalore. So overall, uh, the overall scent profile for this, I would say is definitely warm, definitely smooth and woody, but there is this fr uh, fresh, rosy type, diffusive aromatic thing happening in the background, which kind of makes this more apparent in the headspace, but it's definitely stronger as far as an odor impact in comparison to Sandalore. Now, this one, if you had to choose a single aroma chemical to use as a standalone like sandalwood, you can probably get away with this. But it is a fresher take on sandalwood. Uh, now, because it's stronger, I would probably pre-dilute this down to maybe 10, 20% before you start using this in your blends. IFRA restrictions, there are none. And reading online, the average use case scenarios, you can probably use this up to 10% in your perfumes concentrate. So you could use this as a standalone sandalwood replacement, like a synthetic replacement. So yeah, this one's actually pretty good. I like Bactanol. It's a smooth, fresher take on sandalwood. Okay, let's see the next one. So this next material we're gonna take a look at now is called Ebenol. Okay, this is different. It's definitely strong. I would say probably as strong as Bactanol. It's definitely diffusive, but not in a fresh way. 
To me, this one is a little bit more drier. Not as smooth as Bactanol, but it still is pretty smooth, but just not as smooth as Bactanol in my opinion. But there is this dusty, kind of musky dustiness in the background. So to me, comparing the scents to, this is Ebenol, comparing Ebenol to Bactanol, they're kind of one and the same in my opinion, but Bactanol has a fresher, rosy nuance. Ebenol has a dusty, kind of musky nuance. So it's just a different take on it. So this is probably a good blender type of material when you're creating a sandalwood accord. I wouldn't use this as a standalone sandalwood note on its own because it is very dusty and musky, which I mean that, you know, if that's your thing, you know, by all means do it. I, pro I personally wouldn't use this as a standalone sandalwood note. Uh, but because it is strong, it is very diffusive and strong, I would pre-dilute this down again to 10, maybe 20% before you use this in your blends. And there is no IFRA restrictions on Ebenol. Not bad. Okay, so we're getting, we're getting, we're getting somewhere with these. Okay, so let's check out the next material. This next material we're going to take a look at now is called Javanol. Now, Javanol is a newer synthetic sandalwood type material that just came out probably in the past 10, 15 years. And this, I can see why it's held in such high regard. This is good. This is really very smooth, very warm, very rich. And the funny thing is though, it, it has backed and all like nuances where you get this fresher, floral, rosy diffusiveness. But this to me smells stronger. Javanol definitely is more apparent, more in your face. I would definitely not use this as a standalone sandalwood type material for a sandalwood note because it's so strong. I've seen uh, Javanol used in a lot of blends as far as sandalwood type accords and it's dosed pretty low because it's so strong man yeah but this is good this is real good actually uh, there are no ifra restrictions on this but because it is so strong you would definitely want to dilute this at 10 percent or maybe even less i would say start at 10 percent uh, Pre-dilute it to 10% and use that in some of your blends and see how you go. You might want to dilute it even a little bit more than that. But Javanol so far of the, of the four that we've smelled so far is my favorite. Very, very good, very rich, very smooth, very diffusive, complex. I like this one a lot. I really like this one a lot. It's expensive though. Anyone that's looking for Javanol and all these materials we've sniffed so far, Javanol is the most expensive of them all but definitely not as expensive as like real sandalwood oil though. All right, so that's a, that's a winner. All right, so let's check out the last material now. Now this last material we're gonna take a look at is not a single standalone material. This is an actual blend from IFF and it's called Sandalwood Olafac. Nah. First impressions, no. This doesn't, this doesn't make the mark to me. This smells like, it's so buttery. It almost smells like a gourmand edible. It's way buttery. I mean, definitely super, super smooth, but smooth, not in a woody sense. Smooth is like somebody just like took a piece of wood and just covered it in wet butter. It is soft and warm. It smells pretty strong, but not as strong as the other ones. It's probably, on the same strength as like Bactanol. But yeah, no. This to me doesn't even smell like a woody note. It smells more like if it, it smells almost like this is probably 60 to 65% butter and then 40 to 35% wood. So this is mostly like a butter note. So as far as trying to be a uh, standalone replacer for sandalwood, no, I, I would not use this. 
It's just, it's, no, it's just, it's butter. I would, now the thing is though, this would be good as a blender because it's so smooth. It's, it's the smoothest of the bunch and it's very soft. It's not dry, it's very soft. But I would use this as a blender if you're making a sandalwood accord and probably dose this really low and use this as a blender. As a standalone replacement for sandalwood, no. I would, I would probably never, ever, ever use this like that. Uh, there are no IFRA restrictions and you can probably get away with using this neat in your blend if you dared to actually use this as a standalone, but I would pre-dilute this um, probably 20, 25% and use it like that. But yeah, this, as far as all the materials we looked at so far, this one does not, it just, does, it misses the mark in my opinion. All right, so let's wrap it up and take a look at a basic generic sandalwood accord that you can blend using these materials. Let's check it out. Okay, so looking at all five of these materials, here is a quick and easy formula that you can use uh, if you wanted to concoct and combine these materials into something that is more of a generic sandalwood oil replacer. Uh, again, this is like a good starting point. This is what I use as a starting point, uh, but you could always tweak these uh, as you see fit for your needs. So I would probably start with sandalore being at um, probably 588 in your formula. Now, so this formula is gonna be a total of 1000. So sandalore is gonna be the base of the, the overall accord. And because it's so neutral, I find it's best as to use the bulk of this accord is gonna be the neutral. It's not overly strong. It's odor impact is pretty medium. It's a good starting point. So I would start with sandalore at 588 in your uh, formula. Bactinol, because now it is a little bit stronger and it has a fresher kind of rosy nuance to it. We're gonna dose it a little bit lower and do 235 parts per thousand in the formula, followed by ebonol, which is now, it's because it's a little bit more dusty and musky, we're gonna dose this even a little bit lower. So that's gonna be 59 parts per thousand in the formula. Now javanol is the star material, in my opinion, uh, of all these materials we looked at, but because it is so strong, like when you smell it on a paper strip or even directly from the bottle, you immediately would think, oh, it doesn't smell that strong. But because it's such a large mo uh, molecule that you can get fatigued by, you know, like that very quickly. So dose this real low. I would say 10 to 11 parts per thousand in your perfume um, formula here. Uh, it's, trust me, small amounts for Javanol works wonders. And then the last material you can probably omit if you want to, but if you want to just add a smidge of just a little bit of extra creamy, that little bit of buttery nuance, you can use the Sandalwood Olefact by IFF, but again, dose it real low, 11 parts uh, per thousand in the formula. You can increase this if you want to increase that kind of really, really buttery, rich smoothness. But I find that when you use too much of this, the overall formula just it gets too buttery and it's just a turn off in my opinion. So keep this one dosed low, even though it is a medium impact odor strength, but just keep it dosed low and you can adjust it from there. So again, just to recap, uh, overall we're looking at Sandalore, 588, Bactanol at 235, Ebanol at 59, Javanol at 11, and Olafac at 11. So that is a, probably a good starting point for a, you know, a pretty good generic sandalwood accord or a sandalwood note, something that you could probably replace real sandalwood oil with. Now I'm not saying this accord is gonna be the same or better. Um, I would say if you can't afford real sandalwood oil, uh, this would be a good cheaper alternative to use just completely synthetics that kind of mimics that sandalwood oil effect. So. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. We'll, we'll do some more of these in the future upcoming weeks. So with that being said, until next time.